watching the uh, YM. Potentially a, a speed tick set up here that opens five ticks or less from that low of the or from that white line. That would be a potential speed tick, but then again, it could also be a potential rock star. So I'm ready to put on a buy order. So you see how I have time. This is not sneaking up on me. You hear sometimes people say, "Oh, it's just too fast. I just couldn't think that fast." All right, so I bought the speed tick trade on the YM. It did back up a tick, so I got a little bit better fill. On the uh, as it opened, it dropped one tick. So now what we're looking for is for that support to hold, and ultimately the sellers get exhausted and the buyers get a get some traction. Got there, got to uh, plus four. There it is, plus five. So look at this uh, the speed tick trade setup. You notice these black bars. This is a building momentum. You see how this bar turned a little bit lighter gray color. Uh, we've got a speed tick and an oversold condition. We've got a lot of potential exhaustion here. We have a major line of support, okay, and as long as this bar opens or opens and, and even drops towards this support line, if it's five ticks or less, then that's a speed tick trade setup. So I got my order in actually one tick better and it bounced right up here in my favor, plus five, done. I don't care what happens after this. The assumption is this downward trend is gonna continue. This is a bump in the road that is a predictable bump in the road because we have all of these on a downward trend. We have bumps, right? We have this bump. So these are predictable. That's where our edge is.